Good morning, everyone. My name is Jim Cooper, Assistant Chief, also State Ranch Management Coordinator for the Texas Wildfire Ranch Management Program. I'd like to welcome you here today. Wanted to show you a video. Uh, this video was taken in Sterling County uh, at the Price Ranch. I want to thank Mr. Frank Price for allowing us to come over and video this uh, prescription that he's been utilizing now for a few years to uh, assist him with his fire mitigation. Also um, has, has proven to improve his, his grazing and also his wildlife. Uh, the habitat for the wildlife has improved also due to these uh, prescriptions that Frank has put in. Uh, a little bit about our program. This is a grassroots program started March 1st. We uh, have worked with cooperators throughout the state from Texas Southwest Cattle Raisers Association, NRCS, Texas Parks and Wildlife, um, and numerous other state and federal agencies to, to get this program off the ground. And it's really, the buy-in has just really been fantastic. So we're super excited about the program. Uh, my contact information as the coordinator is on the website. Just go to the Texas A&M uh, Forest Service website, look under preparing for wildfires and you will find the Texas Wildfire Ranch Management Program and hit the contact info and you can get a hold of me if you have any questions or to see if there's uh, if your property would fall into that. Number one objective of the program, which I really want to stress to you is that we're here to protect our cities. And now with the ability to utilize private land to do that, man, we couldn't be any more excited. So I hope you enjoy this video and give us a call. Thank you very much. We're gonna be looking at a uh, video of a pasture that we uh, cleared some 500 foot strips on the north side of the pasture and on the east side of the pasture. The prevailing wind in the area is from the south to the southwest. The reason we cleared those strips is so that we could conduct prescribed burns uh, more effectively, safely, and with fewer personnel. Uh, when we cleared those strips, we took the volatile fuels out, including smaller brush plants like uh, flame leaf sumac, little leaf sumac, uh, agarita, uh, which uh, disturbed some of the wildlife people, but uh, we were looking to get all volatile fuels out of that line so that when we started to initiate our burn, uh, we didn't have the risk of uh, flaring from those bushes, cedar bushes and such as that, so that uh, we didn't have spot fires. Uh, this particular pasture, uh, we did burn. Um, we were able to use a seven-man crew. I uh, had two uh, men go west from the northeast corner uh, with drip torches and two go south with the fire suppression unit with both uh, fire crews. And uh, the seventh man was a roamer. He checked back and forth to carry fuel and such as that and check for spot fires. We initiated that burn at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, lighting our uh, black lines. Uh, we had a bladed line against the fence and on the inside of that 500 foot path. By 12.30, we had completed those back lines. We uh, had a short, short lunch and then initiated our head fire. And by two o'clock that day, we were through with that basically thousand acre pasture, uh, black lines and head fire. Very effective, very safe, and we were uh, very pleased with what we did. Now at this point in time, we're looking at wildfire mitigation um, to give the opportunity if a wildfire is approaching a pasture like this, uh, with the assistance of volunteer fire departments, Texas Forest Service, uh, without those volatile fuels, you could quickly, even if you, even if you didn't have heavy equipment to blade a line, lay a wet line and burn off of that starting backfires uh, relatively safely and maybe stop a wildfire. From a landowner's perspective, uh, if he's in a good grazing management program and from this video you can see there's a really good grass cover, fine fuel if you want to call it that. Uh, doing this 
Uh, he hasn't destroyed the wildlife productivity at all. He's still got heavy brush. Uh, the hunters find that in this wide cleared strip, uh, the deer prefer to graze in those areas. Uh, hunting pressure uh, has to be limited. You can't crowd the deer out because they will go to the heavy brush. Uh, but it's very effective in that perspective. From a ranching perspective, the, the cattle really like those areas, uh, the grass productivity, it's easier to find them, easier to gather the pasture. So there's a lot of win-win situations here with this type of scenario. And to the point that uh, if you had, uh, say, equip dollars available to do brush work, instead of clearing an entire pasture uh, with brush work, take three or four pastures. In fact, we did that on this particular ranch and uh, clear those 500 foot strips. And uh, thus we've created uh, some benefits for all those pastures instead of just clearing one. So uh, there's a tremendous amount of potential here and, and uh, it's, it's worth, uh, worth considering. And, and I'm excited that the Texas Forest Service and the NRCS uh, see the possibilities in, in what might could occur here and, and uh, you, know, you could take that 500 foot line around a, a small town that uh, had the potential to be trapped in a, in a wildfire and if you had this cleared strip around it uh, you could quickly uh, make that town safe. Uh, like I say the, the potential is, is uh, really really exciting in my opinion.